thank you very much. Uh, this comes from Jessica, who's on Oxford Avenue. This has been a thorny issue, and that is the bridge that's not too far from here. And the question is, what can we do to reopen the bridge to bike and pedestrian traffic? And then, of course, in the long run, support greener transit options uh, as a state, which I guess would bring in our state officials, like the extension of the Hudson River Greenway. All right, well, uh, I'll start with the, the Greenway first. Uh, the Greenway just uh, completed a, a first study. Uh, it needs a second study, a, a further development, and I'm committed to trying to get the resources to fund that study. I'm hoping that I will be able to get that money in the next budget in, uh, in, in the end of June. Uh, the Henry Hudson Bridge is incredibly frustrating. Uh, we all use it all the time. Uh, the traffic, it's been under construction for it feels like about a decade. Uh, I know that particularly with the, uh, the bike path, the assembly has worked very hard with the NPA to try to come up with some resolution. It has been incredibly frustrating, but I'm going to turn it over to him to let him try to explain what the status is of that. Chief, thanks. Thanks, Matt. Well, that you just passed. Um, so we, we've, we have had meetings with the MTA. Here's what they say. It, it would seem to me that the time to have resolved this problem is before uh, this, before this construction proceeded because now they claim that it would be enormously course, costly to do what's being asked, even though I personally would like to see it, because they would have to actually pull up um, the, I don't know what you call it, the things that are in the ground, uh, uh, the, not stanchions, the poles, whatever it is, it would, it would, it would be extremely costly. Because when I drive over the bridge, which amazingly, uh, the Henry Hudson Parkway goes from two lanes to two lanes over the bridge, and for some reason it gets backed up, I haven't quite figured that out yet and neither is the MTA. Um, but when you go over the bridge, it would appear, if you look at it, that there should have been a way to do this. And I personally believe that there was a way to do it. Now, I'm no expert, I'm no engineer, but I think that they could have done this had they wanted to. I think they didn't want to. I don't think it's really possible to do it at this stage of the process. They did uh, claim that they have shortened the period of time where uh, it would be eliminated, I think it was from 30-something months to 19 months, which is a significant reduction, but nonetheless a very long time. So I think my own opinion is they kind of dropped the ball on this by not doing what many of us would have liked to see them do in the first place. 